Hi, for this recording, I will show you how to determine if the infinite series summation of n square over 2 power n times n factorial is converging or diverging. Now, in this case, we need to make use of one test called the ratio test because of the presence of 2 power n and n factorial. Present 2 power n and n factorial suggests that there is a chance that the ratio test may give us some conclusion. What is the statement of ratio test? Let's revise. Now, the ratio test says that if you have a infinite series with a positive term, means all the terms are greater than zero and limit of a n plus 1 over n is equal to L which you can find this on page 96 of the dependence text then the series will converge if L is less than 1 the series will diverge if L is more than 1 and the test is inconclusive that means you need to do further tests if L is equal to 1 so in this case let's go back to our problems there so in our infinite series a n is n square 2 power n n factorial so we need to find out what is a n plus 1 term and notice that we need them to be positive right in order to apply the ratio test the term are positive which is quite obvious so a n plus 1 is n plus 1 square over 2 power n plus 1 and n plus 1 factorial and now we're going to take the ratio of a n plus 1 over a n so copying a n plus 1 n plus 1 square over 2 power n plus 1 n plus 1 factorial and divided by a n is the same as multiplied by 1 over a n means it multiplied by 2 power n n factorial n square now we will get a lot of cancellation because n plus 1 factorial over n square is actually n plus 1 over n square which we know by looking at these two terms together and then 2 power n plus 1 is 2 power n times 2 and n plus 1 factorial is n plus 1 times n factorial and multiply by 2 power n and n factorial so what I have done is expanding the 2 power n plus 1 as this factor the reason is because, just in case to help you to remind that, for example, n plus 1 factorial is equal to n plus 1 times n factorial. Right? Reason being, say for example, so n factorial is actually 7 times 6 factorial because 7 factorial is 7 times 6 times 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1 which is 7 times 6 factorial. So using this kind of argument, you'll see a lot of cancellation. A, 2 power n, 2 power n cancel. n factorial and n factorial cancel. And even n plus 1. Okay, let's do one more. Yeah. So n plus 1 over a n is equal to n plus 1 times n plus 1 over n square times 2 times n plus 1 at the numerator again so where it's one more cancellation we cancel this n plus 1 with this n plus 1 so in the end yeah, we can see that okay the a n plus 1 over a n is actually half of n plus 1 over n square which we know is half of 1 over n plus 1 over n square knowing that 1 over n and 1 over n square are basic null sequence as 1 over n p are basic null sequence 1 over 
n of n square are basically now sequence therefore applying the combination rule for sequence by the combination rule of sequence we conclude that limits of a n plus 1 An n goes to infinity, which is half of limit of n goes to infinity, 1 over n plus 1 over n square, which is 0 plus 0, which is 0. Therefore, by ratio test, now this is a number L which is less than 1. So, by ratio test, Infinite series, which is uh, n square, two power n over n factorial, n from one to infinity, converge. Okay, so this is the end of the recording.